Hey guys, it's Jake with Johnson Family Farmstead, and today we are trenching for water and power to go down to our barn. Here's what we got. So I decided to dig in right here. We've got our rain drains, and then our there's like a corrugated pipe for the uh, foundation drains that I ran when we originally built the house. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig to the bottom of the footing and then I'm just going to go under the footing. So I started uh, hand digging over by the house just because we've got some uh, utilities and drain lines and stuff over by the house. But I've got the trencher going and I'm over halfway there. I got to put the goats out into the pasture so that I can go over into the goat area and keep on keep on trenching hopefully we can get uh hopefully we can get the majority of this project wrapped up today that'd be nice and uh it'll be a it'll be very nice to have water and power down at the barn uh, for the last couple of years we've just had a couple of sketchy extension cords ran down to the barn and uh a hose stretched all the way from the house down to the barn it's 200 it's a little over 200 feet that uh i've got to run so I did inch and a quarter conduit. I'm gonna put a 60 amp sub panel down at the barn. I'm going to run a three quarter inch Wurzbo or PEX water line down there. Uh, three quarters a little bit small. I was gonna do one inch, but we have really high pressure at our meter or where it comes into our house. So I'm gonna tap off of the higher pressure side with a smaller pipe and I don't think we'll have any issues. So it's gonna be a lot of work, but it should be worth it in the end. Right, so it's gonna go right along our path. We gotta move the goats real quick because I got a trench in their area. It's gonna be a little messy for a while, but I think it'll be okay. I really hope the goats don't fall in the hole. That would not be good, so. We'll see if I can get them to jump over the jump over the ditch and get them into the pasture area here so I can finish trenching. They made it. They jumped across the ditch. tired got the whole trench dug got the water line in the trench for the most part someone's tearing up my goat pen yeah we ruined the goat pen pretty good this is for the electrical right yep we gotta fill all this in tonight for the little goaties i think they're sleeping let's see being awfully quiet Sleeping, maybe? There's Fernie's up there. Hi, Fernie. Oh, did I wake you? Oh, Gertie. Oh, Gertie goat. Oh, Fernie goat. Little disclaimer here I'm not a professional electrician or plumber, just a homeowner, and this is not a how to video. This is just showing how I'm doing this and if there's anything in here that helps someone else that's in this situation then great um, otherwise this is just kind of what I've got going on and in our farm check your local codes on how deep it needs to be um, if they can go in the same trench what separation needs to be um, all of that kind of stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, a 36 inch roughly 36 inch deep trench I'm gonna lay my water line first then I'm going to fill 12 inches of dirt, 
and then I'm going to put my electrical conduit in the same trench. <clears throat> Just makes more sense. I don't have a lot of room to do two trenches because there's a lot of tree roots. So I'm going to put them both in the same trench. Um, you would check your local code and check your local municipality for what you guys would need to do. But I'm going to go ahead and get on with it. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Here I started to fill so that I'd have my separation between the water and the electrical. Alright, I'm starting to get the starting to get the conduit going. So I'm gluing all the gluing all the 20 foot sticks together. Like I said, I used inch and a quarter PVC schedule 40. It's the gray stuff. And got a ways to go. Here's how I ran the water line up and in. Um, it kind of comes up in on the inside of the barn there. I put some insulation around it because I think I'm gonna pour some concrete on the inside there eventually and I don't want the concrete touching the floors bow. Uh, and then I'm gonna backfill this. It's got a lot of, it's just a lot of rock down in here. So I'm gonna backfill all this with the nice loose topsoil and then I'll put in the chunky, nasty rock that was in here that I dug out. But, uh, Pretty much, we're getting close. We're getting close to the end. All right, guys, I got the uh, water line in. So it's all the way from the house to the barn. And we're gonna put, I'll put a shutoff valve in right here. And then we're gonna do a water heater and uh, a hot and cold hose bib over there. Would be pretty cool. And then I think the electrical panel you know, this will just be the shutoff valve down here. It'll run over there, and then I think the electrical panel will be somewhere over in this area. So, I'm absolutely beat right now, but I'm glad that this is phase one. I'm glad that phase one is finally complete. Next up uh, will be to connect all the water lines um, into the in the crawl space, and then uh, start running the plumbing in the barn. And then when we have some more money, we'll buy the wire and then we'll run the wire in the conduit that I put in the, the trench today. So we'll see how phase two goes. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.